schizophrenia. It's a mental illness that we all probably know about. It affects around 1% of the population and the first diagnosed case was over 100 years ago. But what do we actually know about schizophrenia? What causes it? Is it all in our genes? Or are there other factors at play? Schizophrenia is often misunderstood. So let's have a look at some of the symptoms which characterise the disorder. Firstly, we have positive symptoms. Now, these aren't necessarily a positive experience, just that they're an addition to your ordinary reality. Things like hallucinations, delusions, general distortions to reality. Then we have negative symptoms. Now, these are more similar to depression-like behaviours. Things like self-neglect, lack of motivation, and generally not finding joy in things you otherwise would. Finally, we see a range of cognitive deficits. Now, cognitive deficits are problems with executive functions like memory, attention, and decision-making. These symptoms combine in a way that's unique to each person with schizophrenia. So the patients definitely aren't a homogenous group but they can have a huge effect on the quality of life of the person with schizophrenia and have an effect on the family and wider society. As is the case with psychiatric disorders, schizophrenia pathology starts in the brain. But what we know is that there's a huge neurodevelopmental component to schizophrenia, meaning that disruption to brain development in utero or at an early developmental time point can have a huge effect on the likelihood of developing schizophrenia. But what about genetics? Is schizophrenia simply inherited? Well, there is a genetic component, but it's very complex and there's a huge literature on this. We know a small number of very rare and high risk genetic variants. We also know about a large number of very common genetic variants of low risk. But genetics only make up one part of the picture and the puzzle's a little bit more complicated than that. These high risk and low risk genes can interact with a range of environmental factors that can affect brain development and increase the likelihood of schizophrenia. Now this can include viral or bacterial infection at early developmental time points, the diet of the child or of the mother when in utero, and maternal stress. It's really complicated actually. There's really no one core factor that can be pinned down as the cause of schizophrenia we spend a lot of the time in our lab group thinking about all these different factors and the complex interplay between them and I hope that we'll eventually understand that interplay and be able to work towards better treatments or preventions for schizophrenia patients. Our lab uses a range of different molecular biology techniques to investigate how these genetic and environmental risk factors can interplay and affect the development of different types of cells in the brain. So that includes various different subtypes of neurons and also glial cells. We're also interested in how various different genetic mutations can affect behaviour. We hope that this research and the research of others will lead to a better understanding of schizophrenia and how it arises, and that will hopefully lead to better treatments, which would be a huge achievement for us, but most importantly for patients. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you learned something more about the complex nature of schizophrenia. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.